magnesite. So, apparently, CM Punk has thrown his hat into the octagon. And this is very, actually, this isn't surprising to me. I think I saw this coming. I heard a couple of interviews from him, and he said something. I can't remember what it was about the UFC. He said something, and I was like, uh, let me keep my ear to the fucking ground for the next few weeks because I wonder if this man is going to go to the UFC. Now, in the interview, he's talking to Joe Rogan. I will put the link below. And he's talking about how, um, you know, uh, it's something he'd been thinking about for a while and is now or never. Uh, he said it was now or never three years ago, but he decided to give the WWE, you know, another run and the old college try. And since everything ain't work out, you know, I'm sure because the fucking scene and ceiling and a bunch of other stuff. By the way, but y'all wanted me to react to the interview that he did on the uh, Colt Cabana show. And um, I did see it, but um, when I saw it, it, it was something that if I reacted to it, I would have had to take notes. And it was like a couple hours long and I didn't take notes. But I came away with a different understanding of who CM Punk is. I came uh, away from it with more respect than I ever have had for CM Punk. Um, because the majority of what you hear, just like with any celebrity, is hearsay and not out of the horse's mouth and you didn't see it yourself. But from just from different articles and what people said, he always seemed like a real fucking genuine dick to me. And I, that fed into the reason why I hated his character. I just thought his character fucking sucked. Although I thought he was... Uh, one of the best on the mic that there pretty much ever was, or at least in the, that time, this time frame also, one of the best on the mic, okay? I mean, he's very natural, um, you know, it's organic with him. And uh, when I heard that interview, and I heard about how Vince fired him on the fucking day of his wedding, and you just see how vindictive, the WWE can be, and just how his, you know, it was his idea for the Shield, and it was just all these different things. I'm like, man, this guy is really pouring it out here. I'm really getting a different understanding of the business from his perspective, how he sees things, and I just think it's really interesting. And in an interview with Joe Rogan, by the way, I was wearing a suit today. He was wearing a real crisp suit too. He says that he has a Kenpo background. He's been uh, training with the Gracies uh, in jiu-jitsu. He doesn't know what weight class he's going to enter at, so that's up for uh, grabs. He doesn't think he's going to be light heavyweight, though. I didn't think he would be anyway. But I'm looking to see what he can do. I really, I'm really interested and excited to see what the man can do. Um, you know, I think Joe asked him about, well, you know, was it, you know, part of it, you come wanting to come here, was it seeing Brock, Re Brock Lesnar's success in the octagon? It was like, yeah, that was part of it, and this and that, and, you know, he went into other things. So it's going to be real interesting because, you know, Brock was the heavyweight, and to see him come in, it'd be really cool for me to see how legit CM Punk can be, you know what I mean, with the tattoo of Pepsi on his shoulder, you know what I mean? Straight edge, all that shit. I want to see what CM Punk can do. Because I actually like him a lot more now since I heard him in the interview just being frank and being himself. You know, sometimes a, who a person plays on TV can, you know, craft your image of them. And, you know, CM Punk is just a fucking dick. You know, but a lot of people say that his real personality wasn't far from that. So that just made me think, well, well you know. But, uh, and who knows, may, who knows, maybe he really is a dick. But for that hour and a half or two hour interview. Uh, he made me look at him different. So I'm interested to see what he can do and I'm actually rooting for him. I don't want to see him get his ass kicked. When Brock Lesnar was in the UFC, I felt as though he had a bad attitude and I wanted him to get his ass kicked. So when uh, he got split open a couple of times, I was like, good, you got a bad fucking attitude anyway. He needed to learn some respect and get um, humbled 
But um, I love Brock Lesnar as a wrestler. And, uh, you know, right now he's the best thing they fucking got in there. I just wish he was full time. The man is an incredible athlete. He is a beast. He's he's incredible uh, as an athlete. So anyway, um, let me know what y'all think about CM Punk going to the UFC. I am happy for the man with Pepsi tattooed on his shoulder. -y. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's clobbering time.